sometimes he makes so I know how everybody hates Despia, Branded, all those cards. But I got tired of, you know, going against the meta with Generator. So I decided to play as the meta and actually learned how to play the deck so I'm not mindlessly making plays. This is my second, this is actually my second ranked match with this deck. So it's pretty much almost a mirror match. I have my Ghost Bell in my hand. My Ghost Bell Hunter. Uh, Elemental Hero Liquid. You'll see why I have him in here. So I, everybody usually runs the the uh, Destiny Hero package or the Phoenix Destroyer package with only two. I run three to increase his effect. And he has a good effect that he special summons. That Liquid special summons a hero monster. So he goes into the usual Ice Mirror Jade place. But... His effect still goes through. I just needed him off the field. So, he's bye-bye. And I keep Ghost Bell in my hand. I only play one. I got Ghost Bell in my hand just to negate any type of monster reborn or banishment. Which you'll see in a second. Mirror J's effect destroys anything, but I have nothing to destroy. Luckily, I only drew... I, I had that in my hand already. Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer comes out. And that's pretty much the only monster that I needed against this guy. Because I stopped everything he needed to do. Right, negate that. Play Liquid. Right. Attack, attack, attack. And he pretty much has nothing. So I destroy those two to send them to the graveyard. Simply because on my next turn, or at the end of this end phase, Destroyer Phoenix will be destroyed. But I was betting on him not having, you know, an Ash Blossom or, or, um, or Call by the Grave. I used that effect when you went to battle phase because I thought he would have had a, a evenly matched. I haven't seen too many Despia decks run evenly matched, but you can never be surprised because they don't play a lot of back row. I let that go through. I'm not sure if, it, if Ash Blossom stops that, but I had toggled off because I wanted to negate the Fright Fur package. Yep. Let's negate that. And pretty much, it's seven turns. He had nothing for my Phoenix Enforcer, and I really, I'm one of the biggest haters of Phoenix Enforcer. But in this day and age in the meta, it's it's pretty needed because I don't play a lot of decks. And at the end, I'll show my deck. It's pretty basic with it, with some changes. If you see this video and you see something you, you might want to put in your deck, just add a like or a comment. And Phoenix Enforcer, after he's destroyed, he comes back at the next standby phase of any turn. So he brings that out. No problem. I have infinite impermanence. Just so happens, I believe I only run one. I have a couple one ofs in this deck. So it's harder for me to get in my hand, but when I get him, it should become pretty useful. And he quit. So I'll show my deck real quick. So it's pretty basic. Uh, with a few minor changes. Like I said, it doesn't run a lot of back row. But I do run some. I've added things in here that I haven't seen in anybody else's Despia. Or any deck that they run with Despia added to it. I add one Despian Comedy. Two Despian Tragedies. Two Ghost Ogres. Two Ash Blossoms. One Ghost Bell. One Destiny Hero Denier. Uh, Elemental Hero Liquid Solid, well, Liquid Soldier. And that's to bring out my copies of uh, 
Destiny Hero Denier just for the extra attack. But the thing after you use um, Fusion Destiny, you, you can't you can't go into your other fusion plays unless they're heroes. But I do have another masked hero that I can bring out, and I'll get to that. I run two copies of Fallen of Albaz, three copies of Aluber, the Jest of Despia, one copy of Destiny Hero Dasher, one Tribigate, uh Mercurier. I have Brick with this card, because if you have nothing on the field, it's, this card is pretty useless, and I don't run any Tribrigade cards at all, but... Trial Brigade Mercuria has come in handy when you have your Mirror Jade on the field just for some extra protection. That's if you have it in your hand. Uh, one copy of Dramaturge. One copy of Ad Libitum. One Rageki, which I don't understand why you have two. Well, while you can have two, I've never seen someone run two. Uh, one Harpy's Feather Duster for the back row destruction. One Palmerization. One Monster Reborn, one Foolish Burial, one Destiny Fusion, one Branded, no, two Branded Fusions. I see a lot of decks run three. You Honestly, I've bricked with having multiple Fusions of the same name in my deck. That's why I run one Palmerization without the, the package, without the... Uh, what is his name? The Imp Package? Fight for Package. Because I have another way to actually draw my, uh, well, add my fusions to my hand. My Poly, my Branded Fusion, or my Fusion Destiny. So I actually don't need to hard draw those. Because Branded has this, uh, Lenatus. Whereas though after I send them to the graveyard, I can add a fusion or polymerization spell to my hand. So it's not even, I don't have to hard draw anything. Um, one copy of Branded Loss. I have yet to see any, but any Branded or Despia deck run this or Spriggins. It actually comes in handy to get a, get a Zeus off the field or any type of special summon monster that they have that you'll have a hard time with and fusion recycling plant this is another card that i have a one of of that i have yet to see another deck play this is so i can get my polymerization to my hand and it has a good discard effect uh, i usually would discard despian tragedy or i would discard my copy of despian comedy Uh, and at the uh, once per turn during the end phase, you can target one monster in your graveyard that was used as fusion material for a fusion monster. Uh, uh, this turn, add it to your hand. So that that's good for adding my fusion monsters back to my extra deck or adding the fusion material to my hand. I want, run one copy of Theater. I don't need to run two. Like I said, you really don't use back row of field spells. Um, I also run one copy of Mass Change 2. I use this on almost any of my Despia cards. Especially uh, Despian Tragedy. Because he gets sent to the graveyard and he gets his graveyard effect. Or so I can have my... Fusion hero with mass change using a luber even if he gets even if he does or doesn't get negated by ash blossom or imperm I can still get my one copy of mass hero uh, Dark law which I have yet to see any other Despia decks run some out there probably Run one call by the grave because I really don't want to call by the grave of ash or a ghost ogre I usually would just call by the grave something I have no I I have no plan to use. And I said it's I usually don't use it in mirror matches, but it depends. One copy of brand, two copies of branded opening, two copies of branded and red, two copies of dark sacrifice. Now this is a good. This is I advise you to any deck to use this if you're running you know mass change and dark law. 
because when your opponent activates a card or effect that would destroy cards on the field, negate the effect, and send one level 3 or lower dark monster from your deck to your graveyard. Now, one level 3, got a level 1 right here, get his graveyard effect once he's sent to the graveyard, or that's being comedy, you know, send him to the graveyard, negate, you know, Hoppy's Feather Dust, negate Regeki, negate Dark Hole, negate uh, Lightning Storm, anything that destroys, anything, yep, any card, monster, magic, trap, as long as it destroys a card or more than one card, it's not a counter trap, but it works pretty good, so I'll run two copies of those, and one copy of Titano Cider. Target one face-up monster your opponent controls that was special summoned from the extra deck. Change this attack to zero and if you do negate its effects. And that is a permanent effect. If your opponent special summons monsters, even if they pendulum summon uh, monsters from the extra deck, while this card is in your graveyard, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can set this card. So if they happen to special summon on your turn, like if they play Brandon and Red, they special summon it on your turn, you can set this card from your graveyard to your side of the field. And another good thing about this card is that it constantly recycles because some cards that would uh, add themselves to the field from the graveyard are banished afterwards, whereas though this one is recycled. That's why I only run one copy. Uh, I have one Starving Venom. I don't really use it. It's really good combo with um, Super Polymerization, but I don't use that. Uh, two uh, Albions. One Despian. Uh, What's his name? Quaritus. One Destiny uh, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Two Mirror... Uh, mirror jades i run two instead of one because i would usually banish one with brandon and red just in case someone has something like dragon i forgot what the card is called let's see that's a card that somebody tried to use on me before I think it's this card, the ultimate creature of destruction. No, I can't remember the name of the trap card. So, oh, there we go. It's because I don't have it. Yup, Ice Dragon's Prison. Target one monster, your opponent, in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon it to your field, but its effects are negated. Then you can banish one monster from both players' fields that have the same type. And that's why I only I run two copies, so I can banish one to keep it out of my graveyard. And the fact that this is the only worm that you run. So this card has is pretty much useless against it. I run one copy of uh, Lubellion because it recycles itself. One copy of Lanat, uh, Lanatus. He's my go-to when I need a polymerization or a fusion. Like Fusion Destiny. One copy of Guardian Chimera. One copy of Pride of Plant Verte. One copy of Dark, the Dark Charmer. I rarely use this unless I'm in a bind. Unchained Abomination is real good. And Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. You really won't have to use Unchained or Underworld Goddess. But in a tight situation, you might. But thanks for enjoying the video.